Sheesh. Civic is good. Deuces. Yo, my neighbors probably think, man, this guy's car is always getting towed, breaking down and not working. <laughs> Yo, but can you guess what had happened? Skylar and I were heading to the gym, right? And we were just down the street. And out of nowhere, we hear a loud pop. And what had happened was my freaking clutch pedal bracket had broke. What's crazy is that I was thinking about this all day because I noticed that when I would step on the clutch pedal, right? It sounded a lot louder than usual. And in the back of my head, while going to work and coming back, I was like, man, what if this thing just broke on me? <laughs> and it wasn't until we went to the gym that when I was shifting gears, this thing just like popped. And now I can't even go into any gears. But shoot, man, let's pull out this clutch pedal though. Sheesh. Oh, shoot. Such a tight space. Locking pan is out. <laughs> okay. Ouch. <laughs> Ah, there we go. All right, is it out? Clutch pedal's out. Let's see the damage right here. So every time I stepped on the clutch pedal, I guess this whole assembly would just like lift up and it wouldn't engage the uh, clutch master cylinder. Just gotta find a place to get this welded back on. Woo! Okay, yo, it's the next day. I just got off of work. It's not even two o'clock yet. Woo! And here is the broken uh, clutch pedal bracket. We just need to get this part welded. I'm not really sure where to go, but I'm gonna just look up a muffler shop and uh, hopefully they can do it. So, <sighs> wish me luck. All right, I found this spot near uh, work. It's called Ken's Muffler and blah, blah, blah. And they got this big old statue, dude. I had a good amount of ratings compared to uh, the other muffler shops nearby, so. I'm about to go see if they could do it. Yeah! Good news, the guy said he could do it. Ooh. Check out the prelude though. Dang! Looking like one piece. I mean, uh, looking like one color over there. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. Yo, they didn't even take like 10 minutes. It don't look bad at all. Hopefully it's a little more reinforced and it'll last longer. Well shoot, let's get home and uh, put the clutch pedal back in. Yeah! All right, now that I'm back home, let's take a moment to check out these welds though. Let's see, got a nice solid weld. Um, Looks like there's still a crack like right there near that hole. But, I mean, this looks attached. Um, oh shoot, looking good to me. Okay. Well shoot, let's get this clutch pedal Installed real quick before the mailman gets here because yo, I'm blocking his way. <laughs> mm hmm. One and two. Oh shoot. There we go. Clutch pedals in. Woo! Look at all that pressure when you push the clutch down. Yo, I'm kind of scared that this is going to break again. <laughs> but shoot, let me get the Civic out the way so the mailman could deliver our mail. change gears again yo what it is guys what's up it's been a few days since the uh, clutch pedal bracket went out on the Civic and now fast forward over 4th of July weekend the guys coming over to work on the lewd Woo! the dude's gonna be here in an hour or so the plan is to try to adjust the camber on both rear wheels before he gets here yeah <laughs> All right, the fender roller dude's all done with the lewd, and he also did the accord. Let's check out how he did. All right, ding. Looks like I got a lot of room now to lower the front some. I had him roll and pull the fender a little bit. You can't really tell, but it's a mild pull, and we still got the uh, original body line. So the front definitely has some room to drop, and the back, yep, we got some more room right here. He also pulled this a little bit. 
Don't know if you could tell. Oh, and I also added some camber, so the wood's a little tilted. Oh yeah. Damn, I'm ready to go lower, yo. Jeez. Oh man. Look at all this space. Dang. Right now I got like a little more than one finger clearance in the front. And in the back, I got pretty much just one finger. Is it the same on both sides? Yep. And the front. Oh yeah. Let's see how much lower we can get the lead. Right now we're at, I guess four fingers. Let's hope we can get it down to like almost three. Y'all ready for this? Let's do this thing. Uh, whoops. Oh well. Yo guys, it's the next day. Last night it had got a little late and I was like, you know what? I'm off the next day so I'll just save it for tomorrow. And so here we are. I just made the adjustments on the front of the lewd and check this out. Now you know the front end is too low when you can't even pull the jack from under the car, even with some two by fours. <laughs> so I had to stack it in a way that it'll go down uh, one at a time because I'm pretty sure with these two stacked together, it might not have enough room for the front bumper. Let's go. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah. We got room to take the jack out. Dang, look at that, see? The front lip is sitting on these uh, freaking two by fours. Dang. Wow, the lewd looks a lot better in the front. I think the front is more lower than the back. See how we still got some wheel gap? But I mean, it still looks good. Whereas the front, we got the tire kind of tucked under the fender. And I got some room to put my fingers in here, so when we hit some bumps, it shouldn't be bad. But yo, the lewd looks so good. It looks a lot better, for real. Even though we dropped it down by like half an inch or so, it looks much better. Woo! We only got like three fingers of clearance. We went from a little over four to now only three. Oh yeah. Dang. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Before we used to have some uh, wheel gap between the tire and fender on the front and backs. And now it looks like the fender is like right at the tire, if not kind of overlapping the tire. See right here, see how it's kind of a little bit of space between the tire and fender? That's what I was trying to get rid of, and that's not bad at all. But yo, what do I think about this fitment though? Sheesh. I really think that the lead could go lower, but man, it's just gonna make life really hard trying to get on and off this driveway right here. <laughs> I think for now, I'm gonna stick with this setup. And if I wanna go any lower, I'm just gonna have to get airbag jail. <laughs> but yo, lead's looking real good. I get to scrape a lot more often again. And man, we can finish the wrap now. Woo I really like the camber. You know, even though it's gonna eat my tire up a little bit faster than usual, I think it looks good. What do y'all think? With it going up, like straight up and down almost, uh, I think it looks more like a like a monster truck. <laughs> and so, with it being kind of cambered, it kind of just flows with the the body lines of the car. And it looks like the lip is like right there to the fender. Ooh. Well, now that the uh, fitment is pretty on point. I'm gonna take a lead to get an alignment. I'm gonna just do a toe alignment. Um, I'm gonna leave the camber where it is. Maybe ask him if he can make it the same all around with the camber and then, you know, fix the toe and whatnot. But before I end today's video, we got one last test we could do. We're gonna see if the prelude could make it off the driveway without scraping. Y'all think I got this? Let's find out. Keys, oh, I can't find it. Oh, it was in my pocket the whole time. Wow.
Well, it looks like this uh, chopper is just gonna have a lot of battle scars. <laughs> but, I mean, with like a five point turn, the lead can make it on and off this driveway. But alright guys, thanks again for tuning in. Let's end this video with some cinematics. Yeah.